All right, there's going to be times when you're putting together some circuits and you probably don't have some small value picofarad capacitors and there is an easy way to make your own if you have some magnet wire laying around or or this is also excellent wire this is, a tele, this is from a telephone wire there was like four pairs in a wire and the insulation's pretty thin and basically I'm going to show you how to make your own capacitors Now all a capacitor really is, is just two pieces of metal or two metal plates or two, two wires that are very close together but not touching. Now what you do is you take two wires like this, all right, just strip the ends. Now if you're dealing with enamel wire or magnet wire, just get a razor blade and make sure you scrape the ends away so you have an area to solder to. But you just take the two wires and you're going to twist them together like this. Now the tighter you twist, you're going to bring the wires closer together, the tighter you make it. And that's going to cause the value to go higher. If you do a uh, twist that's not as tight with the same number of turns, you're going to have a lower value. So I'm just going to show you right now. I'm going to twist this right here. All right, that's pretty tight. All right, that's a capacitor right there. I'm going to connect it to my meter right here. This is an excellent meter, by the way. A Tenma 72040A. This will tell every size capacitor up to extremely high values. And it's very accurate. I'm going to start at just 0.01. I'm going to start it right here. It should be at zero, but it's close enough. I'm going to connect it on. It's one. Connect this. All right, 2.4 picos. Now I can take off a one. So it's 2.3 picos, this connection right here. Now I'm going to tighten it some more. If it gets too long, that's not a problem either. Just trim these off, these legs right here. You cut it there and there. And then you could fold it over and fold it again. And then if you want to get really fancy, you could dip it in some JB Weld. And then when you're done, you'll have a nice little encapsulated capacitor which I made a few of and they work great. Let's go this way. Keep twisting. And like I said, don't worry about it getting long because you could just fold it over a bunch. Alright, so you got that, which is not ridiculously long, but there it is. Let's see what the value is now. If I can get it on there. Come on. All right, this is 2.7 now. So it slowly goes up. I notice if you use the enamel wire, the magnet wire, it goes up fast. And you, you can make this much shorter. So that's the way you want to go. If you, if you do this and you need more than a couple of picos, you want to use the magnet wire. Now you can cut this off. Now the, cut that off. Now the value will also probably change if I start folding it over. So I'll fold it to there. Alright. I'm going to fold it again. Alright, so right there. That is a capacitor. Let's see what the value is. Pretty close to where it was before, which is fine. So you're around 2.3. I notice when you start folding it over like that, it lowers it slightly. So when you make one, say you need a 10, 10 pico, you make it like 11, because when you fold it, it'll come down to a 10. And if it still shows a little high, then all you have to do is just trim off a little bit of that wire on the end before you folded it. So you could just unfold it a little, and then you would just trim off a little bit, make sure the wires don't short, and that's it. Now this you could just dip in some JB Weld and then like at the four minute setting stuff just dip it in and then boom you're all finished you got a nice capacitor right here there it is the legs okay now you took some magnet wire enamel wire right there you see I didn't put too many turns 
and the value is almost double of the other wire because the insulation on here is so thin. So I'm going to give it a few more twists. Now I'm up to six picos. And you see, this is much smaller than the telephone wire one. So you get a higher value quicker because the, you can wrap it tight. This is 23 gauge magnet wire. Okay, and this little one right here, that's seven and a half picos. So you can fold that over a few times and epoxy encapsulate it, and you got yourself a nice seven and a half pico capacitor.